what floor are you going to right now? If you ride the elevators on the Senate side of the U.S. Capitol with any regularity, you know Jimmy. Jimmy! Jimmy Wibley is one of the more popular people around here. Right back, baby. Keep this one. In this institution, it's one of the few places where elevators are not just automatically ran. Today, he's one of only a handful of Senate elevator operators in the U.S. Capitol. Two, please. I love pushing a button. Jimmy's enthusiasm and good nature gives no hint to the hardships that Down syndrome and epilepsy have had on him. Still, life's limits haven't stopped this man from pursuing his dream more than a decade ago. This is my first weird job, permanent job. And what a job it is. On days like this one, Jimmy works an elevator just for the senators and makes small talk with some of the most powerful people in Washington. You are with the man. And we all so love good. the man. I got a lot of buddies. Yeah, everybody loves him. That's what we've heard. He's, he's our great joy. This is the man. Yeah, I'm your man. Uh, we have you do this. I love you, buddy. But who's his favorite? Edward Kennedy. You like Kennedy? <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> Kennedy says he's more than just a smiling face on the elevator. Jimmy's an influence to those around him. When you see Jimmy, just reminds us every single day that you can have uh, some uh, challenges, physical challenges or mental challenges, and, and yet you, you, there, you have something to contribute. Uh, to the uh, community. Jimmy's job coach says working in the powerful, prestigious, and fast-paced environment at the nation's capital has been a life lesson. Jim has learned willpower. Um, Jim has learned how to be persistent. Persistence has paid off. Jimmy was recently honored for his years of service at the U.S. Capitol. He's had actually 13 years of service and he will be here as long as he wants to be here. I like this shop. I love this shop. I would do anything for this shop. In Washington, I'm Kristen Volk. Catch you later.